What's up guys, we're back on our Dark Aether grind here on my second account on Cold War. And in our last episode, our top comment was from Floors saying he wants to do the MP5 on Firebase Z. So that's what we'll be doing today. Now, I think this might be the first SMG we're doing on this account. So that's good. We're going to be getting it out of the way, starting up on our SMGs. But as you can see, I don't have it fully leveled up. It's only level 48. So we need to get two levels here. I think that'll probably make it more entertaining because I do have a little bit of camo progress. I'm completely done with the rotten or our grunge camos. Those are all done. All of our normal eliminations are complete. We still need about 1,200 crits, which is going to be probably our hardest task today. And we have 600 pack punch kills to get. Vintage is done. Funnel is done. Topo is done. And then we still need to unlock our jackrabbit medals. I'm gonna go ahead while we're here, switch my reticle to the apex reticle. And of course I am using the Cobra Red Dot, my favorite site in the game. Uh, for our muzzle, we're gonna go with, uh, what should I use? So common eliminator, I think. Barrel, we're going with the cavalry per usual. Our body, we don't have ember sighting point yet. That's the next level, unfortunately. So I think we go with the uh, tiger team spotlight. Bruiser grips, good. That's helps with our movement speed. We're gonna switch to the 50 round drum. We're gonna throw on the speed tape. And for our stock, I think I'm gonna go with the SAS combat stock. And that should be good also we do have this carnival blueprint on it this was in the battle pass uh, i've just been using this because i didn't have too many attachments at the start and now i don't feel like switching it out so we're gonna be rocking with it for today also got ring of fire on per usual so let's go ahead hop on firebase and try to get this thing done all right here we go blowing up with the twin it's gonna feel so nice to be back home firebase is my zombies home but before we get further into the video do it all right, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and try to get our crits early and often here. I almost missed that one. I was getting nothing but body shots there. But I have not grinded a weapon on Cold War in a week. I, I said I was going to do them every week, but I I am I'm a day late because shipment came out in Vanguard, and that was pretty exciting. But we're here now, and that's all that matters. So since we're here, go ahead and leave a comment suggesting on what weapon you want to see me do next after I'm done with the MP5. I'll have a comment down there showing what guns I've already done so you guys don't uh, have repeat suggestions. But make sure you leave what map you want me to do as well well but i'm happy to be back here on firebase it feels nice playing some round based zombies after playing so much vanguard oh wait let's go back shut up pack not even gonna let you speak and i need to turn the rampage inducer on or should i turn power on first i feel like i'm so trash on the sticks i haven't played in so long that this rampage inducer is gonna be the death of me but you know what why not do it it is the update of rampage inducer where it goes all the way up to round 55 now which is kind of insane maybe i'll turn it off for like assault waves because i don't know how i'm gonna take out order with zombies full sprinting at me but we'll see if i'm struggling i'll turn it off but i think i'll be i'll be all good all right let's grab tombstone go ahead lay down thank you take care of these zombies real quick oh free armor we take those and max ammo we double take those let's pop this door open we have 75 points we need to earn all that up i feel like it's impossible for me to get headshots without dead shot like it's not even worth trying to get so i noticed people have said like take aim assist off it's easier i need aim assist i do not play the sticks nearly enough to where my aim is going to be good enough to not have aim assist i'll be actually handicapping myself taking that off can i open this yet let's go grind the rail Ooh, a little slow one, but it was nice. It was good not to miss the first one back. Get out of here, double points. Let's grab this. Never mind, I'm too broke. Did I already grab my loose change? I think I literally just did. I, I have goldfish brain. So let's try to get 500 points as fast as possible. Need one more kill. There we go. Start up the reactor. All right, go, go to the reactor. Get away from me. He kind of just froze there for a second. He hit the stanky leg. Get off me. Jeez. Go away. Oh, I am for sure rusty. This is going to be tough. I almost hit that nuke. Didn't need it. Reactor's done. Let's keep moving. Check this out. I still know. Shout out. Shout out, Peck. I almost said shout out. Do not shout out, Peck. Shut the fuck up, Peck. All right, let's turn on the second reactor. Grab the loose change from Speed Cola. And both reactors are down here, which is very nice for me. Don't have to keep running up and down. I'm kind of just chill over here. Chill beats to study slash kill zombies too. It's weird seeing zombies still walk with the Rampage Inducer on. With this new update, oh, I guess it's not that new. But with how the Rampage Inducer works now, is that it slowly ramps up. You'll still have some sprinters, but not like every zombie sprinting. Uh, I feel like it makes more sense for how it works. Uh-oh, out of ammo, but reactor's done. Let's go. Perfect timing. Let's buy some ammo back. Zombies get the hell out of my way. Grind this rail. Ah, uh, I jumped too far. Whatever, that one don't count. Pop this bad boy open. Check this out. Stick the land on the railing. Spin, land on the other one. Oh, can I get the loose change though before I get killed? Yup, but still almost gonna get killed. Come on, start the reactor. Let's just ring a fire here because there's gonna be too many zombies for the reactor to take them all up. I mean, get this reactor done a lot quicker if we do. You go to bed. You need to go to bed. Oh wait, there's two of you. There's three of you. Get knifed. 
get rolled. And it's already over. Let's go. Finished it on time, too. Normally, we do finish around round five, round six. Well, that's pretty good timing. Even with the rampage inducer. Oh, my God. Mimic. I go me. Get the fuck away. Okay, we need to, we need to go. Holy shit. Five health. Five health. Oof. Okay, let's just stay over here by helipad for a second until we get a ring of fire. Once we get that ring of fire, we can go chill by pack-a-punch. Pop that. Get as many kills as we can. Grab pack-a-punch. And then probably grab dead shot as well. So, I don't want to grab that insta-kill yet until I get as many kills here. Hopefully, fill up my ring of fire. Because insta-kill does not let me fill up my field upgrade. We're almost there. Let's take out this horde of zombies. Let's go. Quick carpenter. Now we'll grab the insta-kill before it goes away. Okay, we're good. We can head back and then we will have our, our ring of fire ready to go when we need it. So we only need like two or three kills to fill it up now. We should be able to grab pack a punch right away. Let's go. And we can just chill here until our ring of fire is ready. Hopefully we don't die because these zombies are getting extremely fast. Get away. No, 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 no. We are not going down like that. Like anything, actually. We are running. I might want to turn the rampage inducer off to try to do the, the bunny Easter egg. That we can get free jug. I think I'll do that. Okay, let's turn it off. Perfect. Oh, uh, I didn't want to nuke, but I guess uh, that works. That works for us. Let's hurry up and try to do the bunny before they start spawning in. Come on. Look at me, please. There we go. Now come to Papa. Come on. Don't be shy. Thank you. All right, let's get this done as fast as possible. These bunnies are so much harder to hit on controller for me. I cannot aim on controller to save my life. The mimics look so cool in this area, though. With their little glowing mouth. Let's take a look. Look at that. That's terrifying. You know what? Let's get a few kills. Might as well. Jeez, this thing has so much ammo when it's pack a punch. 120 rounds in the mag. Ridiculous. Once we get dead shot, it's over. Please go away, bunny. Oh my aim, dude. Bye, mimic. Goodbye, idiot. Let's pop open to the chest. What we got? Easy salvage and jug. Just what we wanted. Did it drop a gun? It did. The QBZ. We already have that done. I only ever get guns that I already have done as drops, which is very, very disappointing. So we could at least hold on to it and get some levels for it. But I don't think that's how it works, actually. Let's check our crit ratio. We have 52 crits out of 125 kills, which is not that great of a ratio. But this is going to help out a lot. Oh, level 49. One more level to go. And then we can start unlocking our Jackrabbit medals. But for right now, I'm going to chill right here. Double points. We need that. Accidentally throw a stun. Doesn't matter because I'll get extra points off the stun. Let's just farm out these points so we can get a few more perks. Then we can go set up in kernels. And we're going to have to fight Orda today. I haven't fought Orda in a long time. It's going to be nice seeing him again. Okay, we got we got 9k. Let's go ahead and grab a quick revive. And then let's get death perception so we can start getting salvage up. Also, speaking of salvage, can we upgrade at all? We can. We'll get a green. We get a blue. Not quite. Where are my manners? It's been a while since I've done this. I haven't seen pack punch camos in a minute. But this is what the MP5 looks like with the pack punch one here on fire base. That's a jack o lantern. I know. I don't want that. I want this. It's called the Mystic Pony Express. I, I don't know how that hit. That qualifies for MP5. I guess MP or for MP in the in MP5. And then Express. Polar Express released in 2005. Probably not right. I don't know. I don't know why they call it that. Looks pretty, pretty decent though. But since they're all here... Let's get these headshots. Threshold camo, we're at 1,500 crits. We need 1,000 more. So we're going to end up having 1,107 crits when we're done. I never point that out to myself, but that's just for me later when I'm like, wait a minute, why haven't I got the camo yet? So 1,000 crits from now, we should have it. Let's also put an ammo mod on this. We're going to need cryo. So I'm going to keep the rampage inducer off until we do our first, what's it called? Assault wave. Or once the assault wave starts, I'll turn it on and then run on over there. And then we'll try to keep it on for the rest of the game if we can. But I might end up turning it off again because that's, it gets tough. Now I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm nice on the sticks. I struggle on the sticks. Oh, look at our crits now. Every kill is a crit. This is why Deadshot's so goaded on controller. It's actually a completely different perk when, when playing on the sticks compared to keyboard and mouse. Like, it helps with headshot damage and, you know, extra damage from consecutive hits and all that. But man, it is just so nice on controller. It just makes headshots so much easier. What perk can we buy now? I'm gonna get Mule Kick so we can get ammo. I think we have enough to upgrade this now. So let's get blue. Can't quite get purple yet. And we can't upgrade our armor. So we're gonna have to chill on that. I'm gonna sit here with my back against the wall. Knock out some kills. Might even use our ring of fire this round. We'll see. I have a feeling our assault wave is going to come at round 13. I feel like it used to always come at like round 10 and then they switched it. It's always felt like every 10 rounds. I mean, it is every 10 rounds after the first time, but it used to feel like it was on wave 10 every time. Oh shit. I corner myself pretty damn good. There we go. Made it out just because I'm a boss. Okay, let's get speed cola. Definitely going to need that. Might as well grab the nuke. No zombies around anyways. And then we just need stamina up and PhD. 
and we're good to go. We don't need elemental pop and tombstone is useless. Let's just get this round over with and then we'll fight that assault wave and then set up in kernels. It's actually gonna feel so good to sit there in kernels and just grind camos. That's actually been my home in Cold War. That's probably the spot I've spent the most time in in this whole game. Let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing like all my Cold War final stats. I guess they're not... Well, for my main account, I guess they're kind of final unless they add any new weapons, but... We can see those stats. We can see this account stats. I'm sure they're pretty interesting, especially multiplayer. I think I have like thousands of Tomahawk kills. That was my main lethal. No assault wave, really? Damn. And we're grabbing stamina up. Take a little sip. Now we wait. Actually, we damn near have everything that we need. So I might as well just turn this on. Go sit in kernels until the assault wave ready. Because I'm not going to have enough to pack a punch for the next few rounds. So I might as well just sit there, save up, and then go grab it when I need it. There's no place like home. Wait, hold on. Zombies get back for a second. Wait, where is it? Mm there we go almost forgot it would have been real mad okay now that i've used my ring of fire we're about to get an assault wave that's just how it works here grab the max ammo use zombies left where's your last dude at oh there he is goodbye there's our assault wave we do not have enough to pack punch or anything so we might as well just go to the beach and wait i wish i would have like watched somebody oh, i guess i the footage is probably still up there but like seeing the first ever assault wave like somebody seeing that for the first time must have been so crazy i mean i've done it for the first time i just don't remember the feeling like i don't know if i was expecting it to happen or what because even like fighting order for the first time is like crazy it's very climatic if that's the right word climactic i don't know i speak english like it's my second language okay, we're just gonna drop down and get crits the first assault wave is always just stupid easy especially for crits look at this nothing but yellow popping up but that's it easy okay we gotta wait till next round to be able to pack a punch what is this where do I head with this? Eh, I guess that saves me a little time. I don't ever use those jump pads, like ever. I think that's probably like the third time I've ever used one. They just don't seem very useful. I mean, probably if like you get yourself cornered and you need to leave, like it works, but like that's a very specific spot to get cornered at. Uh oh, ring of fire, go. Then bring me those crits. Right now I'm throwing out my prediction. How many crits are we at? 290 and we're on round 16, right? 15 maybe? We're gonna be done with this by round 38 is my guess. Why is our zombie all the way over here? Get down. Let's grab these double points. And we're back at it. Mangler, please take a seat. Thanks. Jeez. We're gonna fly through these crits. It's actual insanity. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, they're gone. I wasn't worried at all. Okay, I'm worried. I'm fucking worried. Stun, go! I just need that little bit of health regen. I also need armor. Armor is probably very important to get. Get that ring of fire going. Take these guys out. Take one more. There's one guy left. I'm just gonna try to run past him. Grab these double points though. Look at that movement! Who is this? It's like I have scuffs on the way I'm moving. I was jumping from railing to railing. I'm insane. We have 28,000. We should probably pack a punch as well. Let's get armor level two and three. Hop off the rail, 360. Slowest 360. I'm actually insane right now. Check this one out though. Ah. Uh, ooh, the knife in there too. He's nuts. Okay, we're gonna grab PhD. I just noticed right there on that slide, I wasn't sliding very far. And I forgot to grab PhD, but we got pack punch two now. This is what the MP5 looks like with pack punch two here on Firebase. Very, very clean. I just can't wait till we get the pack three. Pack three is the cleanest pack punch camo in the whole game, I think. But there's one thing I want to try. Can I afford an RCXD? I can. This is what I, I, I saw clips of this a while back. I don't know if it ever got patched, but there should be a place where I can drive the RCXD out into the village out here. So if you guys don't know, if you ever look back here, there's an entire village back here and I should be able to get out there. I'm going to see if I can get my car out there because that's like the village you drive through in like the beginning cinematic. So let's see. Can I get through the gate? Oh, you can. I drove right through it. Let's go. So we're out here in the village. This is fully modeled and everything. Right up there is where that window is. I was just looking through. There's a nice broken bridge over here. This is sick. Yeah, there's the window. Let's go cruising through the town. Oh, oh, there's a barricade here and floating rocks. We got to turn around. Oh, we blew up. Can I get another one? I want to go explore again. Yeah, we got another one. Let's go RCXD. Oh, no, I accidentally killed them. We still made it under. What happens if we go this? Oh, wait, there's a barricade there. Barricade here as well. We can make it through. This is where we, what we drive through right in the beginning cinematic. This is so sick. If only we could actually explore this area. Low poly textures. Let's go. And we're out of battery. Okay, got to move. All the zombies are piling up over here. Oh, and there's a mimic. Holy shit, we gotta go. Now, I did just spend all my blue salvage, so we won't be able to upgrade our weapon for a little bit, but I think it was worth it. That's definitely something I've been meaning to try. It's also super hard to drive RCXDs on keyboard and mouse, so I'm glad I did it on controller. Much more enjoyable experience driving anything on controller rather than keyboard and mouse. What I will say that Vanguard Zombies does better than Cold War, uh, I really like uh, the Covenant that auto-reloads your weapon. Like, over time, it'll start putting bullets in, which is really cool. 
There's also a covenant where if you get a critical kill, it'll put two bullets back in your mag when it's fully leveled up. And I think that's sick as well. Like just being able to sit there and constantly shoot if you're accurate and not having to reload. I, I That's a really, really cool concept. I really hope they build on that in Vanguard, but I don't know. I don't know how things are going with that. I've been having fun grinding the camos though. I'm just a camo grinder. What can I say? Get away from me, zombie. Jeez, you don't have to be sprinting at me that fast. How close are we to getting this thing fully leveled? Oh, we're very close. Okay, so our jackrabbits should start flying in pretty soon here. Just need crits and jackrabbits. We're at 431 crits now. We need 1,007? I already forgot, and I was I was mocking myself in the future when I when I was talking about it, too. I'm saying 1,107 is where we need to be. At least that's what I think. Ring of fire, please. No, reload. Why do I have to reload? Oh, let's go. Grinding camos in here is so satisfying. Even though we just used our ring of fire and the assault round started, it's just so good to see that wall of yellow text pop up. Hold on, do you guys see that? Has that always been a thing? There, oh, it might just be the, it's definitely the skin I'm using. But down by the cryo, by, you know how the when you get an ammo mod, it puts the thing on your gun. There's a yellow blinking light and it looks like it's a little almost iron sight popping off of it, but I can see now that it's just a light on the blueprint I'm using. Forgot there was even a blueprint on this. All right, I'm gonna wait for the zombies to run up this way. Oh shit, I didn't have to wait that long. They are sprinting. But this way, it's way easier to get crits than trying to shoot down at them. You'll end up like hitting shoulders and backs. Not worth it. But right here, they run in a straight line at you. It's free crits. It's crit city. Oh, chemical camo. We're done with pack a punch. I forgot that's the thing that we had to do. It's already done, so who cares? Mangler, you can go to bed though. I don't have to wait for you to come up. Oh, what's up, Mimics? Sleep. Sleep with him. Bunk beds. There can't be that many zombies left. I think it's just these few. And they're all crits. Oh, wait, no. They're all coming from the other side now. I'll meet him over here. I ain't waiting. Oh, wait. He's running past me. Get over here. Hey! They're all running past me. Come on. Come to daddy. Uh oh, gotta reload. Okay. Sleep them. There's still more. Of course, this mangler's gotta get it. Gone. Let's reload. There's a whole nother wave coming. Damn, these things don't stop. I'm not complaining though. Easy crits for me. Uh oh, reloading. They don't even care. This guy's gonna run right past me. Oh yeah, jump over because that's a lot faster than just walking around. Idiot. Let's go. All right, we got all that done. We have enough to pack a punch, but it's too dangerous to do it right now. I'm gonna try to leave a zombie at the end of this round. Oh, look, I'm max ammo dropping after we just got one. That's happened literally every time I've done something like that. Oh, level 50, let's go. We can get our jackrabbits. But it's honestly, it's like, why? Why does that happen? Why does that always drop after an assault wave after you get a free one? Like, I guess maybe if you don't complete the assault wave, like you lose it and you get a free one, that's cool. But it's always just there to troll. It's not helpful. I just got ammo. Why I need it again? I don't. Spoiler alert. Corrosion camo. Let's go. Our first jackrabbit camo. Mimic, get the fuck out of my face. I want those double points. Even though there's no zombies left, I'm not going to kill the last one, which is a mangler that's stuck. But I want the double points. But since the mangler is stuck, we can go get pack three and then we'll be all set up for the rest of the game. We're at 572 crits. Not bad. Let's grab pack three. Um, I kind of want to get elemental. I feel like we're going to need it. I'm going to grab it. Mangler. Go to bed. But this is what the MP5 looks like with Pack-A-Punch 3 here on Firebase. This thing is beautiful. I love the, the pink and the purple. It's just such a vibrant, nice looking camo, but we need to dip. It is way too hot in these streets. We need to go. We also need to upgrade our gun next time we have a chance because we have 3,000 scrap, 5,000 blue scrap. We should be good to upgrade, I'm pretty sure. I can't remember the exact rates. I think it's 500 for the first one and then 1,000 for gold. I do want to get this legendary before Orta shows up so I can show its true power. But for now, we're grinding camos. Get away from me, Mimic. We really need to try not to get hit if we want to get these jackrabbits done fast. I mean, obviously, like that's the, the point of it. But I just need to time my shots better so I'm not sitting there reloading with a zombie sprinting at me. I can reload now because he's a little far away. Easily take him out. And our mangler's stuck again, so let's just go upgrade. I guess that's a good thing about the mangler getting stuck there. But once you're out of upgrades and you're just trying to like farm, like you have nothing else to upgrade, it's kind of annoying. But let's get purple. And then we need 900 more blue scrap if we want to get that to legendary. I, we should be able to get that before Ordo shows up. Knock on wood. Let's go take out our stupid friend here who is always getting stuck. I don't, I can't believe they never fixed that. Like we're already into the next COD and that's not fixed. Like, come on. Entropathy camo, let's go. Moving our way up. Let's just try to get all of our jackrabbits in one run here. I just, let's just try not to get hit at all. Let's just beast mode it. Preemptively ring of fire. Contamination, let's go. That's two. That's three. Or three jackrabbits. Probably more than that, actually. Considering we got camos for it, but I'm out of ammo. Shit. I'm just gonna buy it. That way they don't hit me. Not that much anyways. We'll kill our mangler while we're here. Get the rest of these zombies. There we go. On to the next round. Pick up all of our scrap on the way back. Mangler, shoe. I have a feeling another camo is about to show up. 
Please don't hit me. No, you ruined it. Dickhead. I had to I had to get cocky and be like, oh, I have a feeling another one's showing up and then instantly get got. Come on. It's always the commentator's curse. Oh, glitch camo. We got back to our jackrabbits real quick there. I do not want that insta kill. As much as my brain says shiny object, please grab. Can't do it. Don't need it. Okay, now I'll grab it. There's only like three zombies left anyways. Let's refill our armor since they're nice enough to bring me some. Oh, and our mangler's back. He actually respawned on his own. Give me that scrap though, pal. Let me in. The best part about this rampage inducer going past round 20 is just the spawns are so much faster. We can get camos just at an insane rate at this point. That's, it's such a nice feature here. Cold War was actually just a really good zombies game and I got so much hate for no reason. Now that Vanguard's out, Cold War's officially underrated. Oh, conviction camo. Is that the last one? It might very well be. Oh, please reload faster. Let's go. I'm already basically at full ammo, but I want that max ammo. Let's take it. This mangler's getting on my nerves. I feel like this didn't happen as often, like when I played on it. I mean, it still happened often, but this is like every round now. We're at 782 crits. We're actually getting really, really close. I might have just super highballed round 38 as being the round that we get done. But who knows? Anything can happen here. I get hit with a camo curse like four times a day. Maybe we can get it before Orta shows up, but I think I, that might be wishful thinking. In four rounds, if he shows up on 30, I have to get 400 something like critical kills. Is, is that possible? I don't know actually how many zombies spawn each round. Somebody ever calculated that? I'm sure they have. I've just never seen the data. It'd be cool to see how many zombies spawn between like round one and 20 and then like 20 going forward, like 20 to 40, 40 to 60. Cool to see. Is it a set number? Are zombies that spawn or is there they're just like it could be, be between like 11 and like 15 for like round one or something i'm really interested in seeing that if you guys know hit me up so jackrabbit metal but i think we're done with all those camos i think corrosion's the last one i could be mistaken though Jeez, grinding this game is just so satisfying just aim shoot watch the progress go up progression in games is so necessary for me to want to play them that's just what makes the gameplay so satisfying knowing like yep by the time i'm out of here I'm gonna have a cool looking camo on this gun. And then once I get him on all guns, I'm gonna have the sickest camo in the game. Like it's really rewarding to do. Even if I am just doing the same thing constantly, it's just so nice to be able to get it done. Oh yeah, we're like 200 kills away, 200 crits away. This could be soon. I think at this point, we're probably at like 90 zombies around, something like that. Could be wrong. Yeah, we gotta be done with jackrabbits. That's like our 15th jackrabbit metal to pop up and no camo. So we're for sure done with those. Every other camo goes by so fast in this game besides crits. I guess with deadshot crits go by way easier. Oh no, zombies camos just aren't very hard in this. Ooh, shatter blast going off does not help me with my crits. I mean, that's why I normally don't use elemental pop, but I, I, I figured that electric cherry might save me on a few occasions with the rampage inducer going. This is so chaotic, but it's like I'm invincible. Let's go. There's double points too. Really don't need it, but I kind of want to get it. Fuck it, let's get it. Get away from me, zombie. Need those extra points. Oh, we're at 1,021 now. Okay, so it's more than 100 zombies in this round because I didn't get every single crit. Every kill in this round was not a crit for sure. But it does look like we have enough to upgrade. Zombie out of the way. Let's get this thing to gold. There we go. And now we are completely fully upgraded. We have our armor level 3. We have our weapon at gold. We have Pack-A-Punch 3. And we have Orta coming in. Let's go. It's time, Orta. We're only a few kills away from getting our Ring of Fire back too. So once zombies start spawning in, I might just toss a nade down. Because we can just kill Orta and dip. Actually, you know what? I'll just get the crits. We do need like 80 though. I don't know. I kind of want to focus on Orta. This is the first time I'm fighting him in a minute. We'll see. I'll act out of instinct. Come on, Don, pal. I know you missed me. You missed getting that ass whooped. Can I even reach him from here with this MP5? Does this have range? Oh, it does. And it does damage. 800 per shot's not bad when it's shooting this fast. We already cranked out a quarter of his health, basically. Orta, you're, su you're such a little bitch, dude. You're getting messed up. Come on. Cook a nade, toss it down there. Give me my ring of fire. Let's go. Ring of fire time. 1,200 per shot with dead shots going up to 1,300. 1,400. 1,440 is the max on it. Oh my, look at his health just draining. Orta, you're bitch made. Hold on, let me get a few crits. I'm not even concerned about you. There we go. Orta, just go to, do us all a favor and go to sleep. Oh, they really did a number on that thing though. They messed that up. The damage is already in the red, but so is Orta's damage. Oh yeah, crit for me. You're gone. Easy, dude. That actually might have been one of the fastest kills we've gotten on Orda. He's nowhere near stepping foot in here. We'll get a few crits before these guys despawn, though. Thank you, gentlemen. Easiest assault wave of my life. And we're only about, like, 60 kills away. We might be able to do this and be able to exfil, so I'm gonna stay by the radio. What the fuck? Why is that still coming after me? There we go. Jeez. Orda had a little pre-cum chasing me. Or I guess it's after cum. Whichever one works for him. Just need a few more crits and we can get out of here. You know what? I'm gonna go in this corner and ring a fire. Let's see how this works. Okay, it's it's working for now. Not really getting too many crits though with this insta kill. Like hardly any actually. We're at 1,000. 
83 crits. I don't think we'll be able to get this before the X-Fill window closes. Come on, please. Don't close on me, x -Fill. I'm a good boy. Don't leave without me. Oh, 1,098. This could be it. Oh, 1,103. Come on, spawn in, zombies, now. Oh, th thank God for the rampage inducer. Just a few more. Oh, I feel like this window's gonna close right as we get it. Stun, stun. No going down. I'm climbing up here. Is that it? I gotta level up. That's gotta be it. Stun, stun again. There's gold viper. Let's go. No, the expo window closed. Damn it. It literally closed as we got it, I'm pretty sure. What the hell? That's stupid. We were so close to getting out of here just with gold viper. I mean, we did we did get gold viper and we can get out of here. We're so close to catching the x fill with it too. Damn. I think really grabbing elemental pop might have stopped us from doing that. Actually, it for sure did because that one shatter blast going off would have been enough kills to get those crits, but we were so close. You know what? These guys deserved it. Go ahead, take me out. I'll give you guys some candy. Oh, never mind. I hit Flourish weapon instead. Let's self-revive. Do it again. Come here. Come here. Have some candy and I'm down. Can I emote on the ground? No, I can pin for him though. Right here, guys. He's right here. Look how fast I can crawl. What is this? What is this crawl speed? What? Look at I'm I'm cruising. I'm scooting my ass all the way over here. It's like a slip and slide. Why is this crawl speed actually so fast? What is going on? New glitch. What's up, guys? Welcome back. We found out some new movement tech here in Cold War Zombies. You can actually crawl really extremely fast. All you gotta do is down yourself for no reason. But why does he crawl like this? Legs straight out. All right, this is our final stats. We have 1,600 eliminations, 1,118 crits. Our two downs were right there at the end of me just taking myself out. But we did that pretty flawlessly. We completely clapped Orta, and we almost got out right on the X-Fill. Pretty, pretty solid display there. Oh, we hit tier 100 too. What a way to come back. Easy, dude. Easy skin, easy tier 100. We actually flew through this battle pass on this account. All right, this is what the MP5 looks like with Gold Viper on it. Uh, this this Gold Viper is so disappointing. Vanguard's Gold Viper is so much better. But this game definitely has a better diamond, at least as it stands now. The diamond texture is way better. And Dark Aether just can't be beat. This Dark Aether is so sick. I can't wait till we unlock this again. We're actually not too far off. We're kind of far off because we have a lot of classes to do, but we have the, the hardest ones down. We have the ARs down and the snipers down. So getting the rest of these SMGs, getting the shotguns, getting the launchers, all that should be really, really fun and easy to do. But anyways, let's go hop in game and see what Gold Viper looks like there. All right, this is what the MP5 looks like in game with Gold Viper on it. Uh, it looks definitely way better in game. Ooh, especially right here. When we get the light to hit it, that's clean. That's fresh. I feel like I've grown to like Gold Viper a little more, you know, in my in my age. I've matured to like it. I mean, it's still not the greatest camo, but in the right lighting, it's it's solid. You know, it's not too bad, but Vanguard's for sure is better. But yeah, there we go. There's another gold viper down. All right, we got our first SMG done. Make sure that you guys leave your suggestions on what weapons you want to see me do next. I will have a comment putting out every weapon that we already have done. That way we don't get repeat suggestions. But I think that's where we're going to end the video. If you like this and you want to see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.